remember back to last year when I got that wood max snow blower you can see that I just put a bucket on the front with um, sand in there and some cast iron plates and some uh, rotors old brake rotors on top of it for weights and I said I was gonna do something better and uh, this year I'm finally got around to it about a month ago I ordered these weight plates from uh, walmart.com actually they were the cheapest place I could find them I think they were $17 each at the time and um, they wound up having to ship them from California so uh, it must have cost almost as much as the plates cost to ship uh, 300 pounds of these from California but anyhow it took them a while to get here and uh, they arrived so time to go down and work on making a uh, mount for them and I had some of these hitch carriers that I bought at Walmart on clearance last year I was in the store and they marked them down to $15 so I just actually bought them for the material the metal I don't really need the, the hitch carriers themselves um, but I figured that the uh, you know there's more a lot more than $15 worth of metal there so I'm just gonna take this main piece of uh, 2 by 2 tube and use that and you can see they had smaller pieces of the tubing to mount it with and stuff and you know a big bag of hardware and stuff so you know, it definitely was a good buy for you know just use for material and I'm just going to start by cutting that in half about and um, using that cold cut saw now this is the one that I got from Northern Hydraulics and uh, I have to say the uh, it's not the best saw ever. The uh, blade has uh, lost a tooth and has some chip teeth on it, but it still cuts, so I'm using it. And it's time to go back and start drilling some holes in here for mounting the um, a bar for the weights. Uh, I found a piece of old one-inch steel stock that I'm going to use to put the weights on. They're just a, uh, a standard one-inch diameter bar weight. So I start by drilling the uh, quarter inch hole through there and, and I'm just going to move up to a half inch hole now and you know nothing really fancy just a quick hole through there and then once I get the half inch through I'm going to move up to the one inch bit final size of the hole it's funny how the uh, weight plates actually turned out to be the cheapest way to add weight the uh, the tractor plates are really expensive those little rectangular ones that you buy and um, you know these were these were uh, about seventeen dollars for a 25 pound plate so I'm real happy with that so I got the hole for the one inch bar in there and now I'm gonna start drilling for the little uh, hitch pin to go through there it's a 5 8 hole so same thing start out with a, a smaller drill I'm just you know I think this is like a quarter inch drill first and then you have to work your way up slowly so you you know you can't just put a, a 5 8 drill right through there it'll just walk all over and you know it'll burn up the drill so start with a quarter and then a half and then I'll go to the 5 8 but right about here I just realized that I had the uh, tube in the wrong orientation when I drilled it I should have been 90 degrees flipped in the vise so I had to go back actually and uh, drill another set of holes that was uh, 90 degrees to this so now I can mount it either way so I got the um, I got the hole drilled there and I found the um, old piece of one inch steel that wasn't really as long as I wanted but it was all I had laying around and there you see it just kind of fits in there really nice and tight I got that that in there and I figured someday I'll probably put a longer one in there and I'm just gonna take and tack it in there quick so I just grabbed the, the welder and went to tack it in and I just uh, you know knowing that's a one inch solid bar I cranked the power up but you can hear I forgot to crank the wire speed up too it's kind of hitting and missing but just for a tack so you know that'll it, it worked anyway So that's uh, you know that's that's basically it. That's my um, the bar to carry the weights, and all it does is I've got that front hitch I made for the the front of the grill guard there, and this will just slide in there, and uh, you know just mount with a hitch pin. And actually, I can use this in my other tractor also. So you know it doesn't really matter what you use it for on. 
and I can use it in the back too if I have to so and then those one inch uh, barbell weights there they actually slide right on perfectly nice tight fit and it's really nice the way they have the little handles cast right into them too for grabbing onto them and stuff um, so I, I got 12 weights there, 12 25 pounders on the front there, and that'll give me 300 pounds, and it's a, you know, a nice compact package that goes together. I still have to make a couple shaft collars to lock them in place there, but that, you know, I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. And you can see it's really a nice rigid assembly on there. Nothing really moves or shakes, so, you know, that worked good, and it only took uh, 10 minutes to make. And then it's time to start pulling off the deck. And I guess um, I still haven't had my whole lawn, lawn cleaned up because it was doing a lot. It was really wet, raining and stuff. And you can see the deck is, the whole tractor is a mess from all the water and the mud and the rain that we had that I was trying to pick up leaves in and stuff. So uh, I'm cleaning that up now. And some people ask about those wheels I got on Amazon a couple of years ago. And there you can see I've been using them for a while now and uh, they're better than the Kabuta wheels. Very little shake in them yet. And it did start, you know, flurrying a little bit out there yesterday and you could, I didn't even get the garden all cleaned up yet so I'm way behind this year. But here we are the next morning going out to, uh, that's today I'm going out to get the snow blower down and kind of keep that stored up out of the way on the pallet rack there and I've got that nice uh, presto lift that will lift uh, 2,000 pounds actually up to about 8 feet in the air so that um, that really helps to be able to stack stuff out of the way when you're not using it and it uh, was pretty good timing that I got the weights when I did because uh, they're predicting a good sized snowstorm for us on Monday and Tuesday so if, you know this is just perfect timing now to get everything put on the tractor but as you can see, I, I didn't have a chance to pressure wash it or clean it or do anything. So the tractor is still a total mess from trying to clean up the, um, the yard and the mud there. So first thing I got to do is throw the three-point hitch back on. And that's, that's fairly easy with these Kabuta tractors. They, um, just a couple bushings that are off-center and some off-center holes there that uh, the shaft slide through and then the bushing locks it in place. So I fiddle with that for, you know, a couple minutes to get everything lined up and mounted in place there. And it's, uh, you know, it's like 35 degrees out here now, so it's really, uh, really cold inside already. And there's a hitch all, all put in place and ready to go. And I have to put that snow shield on that I built last year. And that's just that big piece of uh, Lexan that goes on the back there. And that just snaps right in place, basically. And it drops in there. And then a couple tie wraps actually hold it in place. And that really did make a big difference. And now it's time to get the uh, snow blower mounted on the back of the tractor. So just kind of drop that down to the ground near now and back the tractor up to it and just uh you know get the three-point hitch pins lined up there that takes a little bit of fiddling and shaking to get them in place but it's really easy to mount it um you know it's really the perfect snow blower for this tractor i think so i got that on there and uh, just kind of picked it up and got it off the pallet there so i can just uh, put that pallet away now for next year but here I thought I'd show you, without any weight on the front of the tractor, you could see the uh, this snowblower is like 670 pounds or something. It, you know, you can just push down on it and actually uh, tip the tractor up very easily. So now I'm just going to go back and uh, put the weights on it. And with them on it, they uh, it's about 50 pounds more than I had on it last year. And it seems to be just about perfect. I can jump up and down on it and, you know, nothing happens. Plus, these weights will work with my other tractor weight bar there that I've got for the John Deere. So I got the snowblower on, and then it was time to go through and check all the gear oil in the gearbox and uh, grease all the fittings here. You can see all the U-joints have to be greased, and um, there's a couple other grease fittings on the uh, end of the auger there and stuff. And, and I'm just going to 
put some uh, bar and chain oil on the actual drive chain there. Just gonna pour a good amount of it on there. And kind of messy, but uh, you know, it's, I got it on there. And uh, you know, I was a little worried about snow and stuff or rocks getting in there last year at first, but not one problem with it. So, and I just dragged it outside to run it for a while and make sure everything was, you know, running okay. No strange noises or anything and um, there it is all ready to go and uh, ready for any amount of snow that we can get now and this snow blower is definitely the perfect size blower for the um, tractor and um, you know I really do love it it's been a really great snow blower Woodmax does make a nice blower and there you can see the weight there they're kind of strapped on for now but um, you know they do work out perfect um, just the right weight for the blower and everything so this year should be a lot easier to deal with and you know my that motor that winch motor that I put on the chute there to turn it stuff tested that all out and everything still works fine so you know we're all ready for a, a big storm now yeah. and once I put the chains on it tomorrow there's basically no stopping this little machine with that blower on it so I just said I'd share a, you know, real easy way to add some weights to the front of a tractor there that really they don't even look that bad now that they're on there. And, um, you know, they, they were the most reasonably priced weights that I could find. And these seasons just really seem to be changing so fast lately, right from, uh, you know, nice weather into crummy weather. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.